what's going on guys i recently visited new residential community 5 or nrc 5 and i got to explore all the facilities they have there so in this video i'll be sharing with you every part of the camp i visited and you can decide if this is an upgrade to nrc1 now if you haven't seen the video i did on nrc1 i'll leave a link in the description so you can check out that video to get to nrc5 from nrc1 you have to be at the bus stop by 8 a.m in the morning otherwise you have to go with the bus that leaves at 1 p.m the buses are very comfortable and they provide power outlets to charge your mobile devices once you arrive at nrc5 you'll be stopped at the gate for clearance because only new residents are allowed to visit these camps for now the first thing i noticed when i arrived at this camp besides the good road network and the slight architectural difference is the fact that there are a lot more trees and grasses growing here when compared to nrc1 you can easily tell that a lot more time was spent in planning and designing the structure of this camp from the way each building cluster is arranged visit NRC5 for different reasons including partaking in job related trainings, seeing their friends and loved ones or surprisingly to get a haircut because there's not a single barber or hairdresser at NRC1 or you could be like me who just wants to see what life is like at a different new residential camp. You will be welcomed at the meet and greet building which is like a waiting area but also doubles as a post office so you can pick up your parcel to deliver here you can also connect to the internet from this building and also located within this building is the bakala or mini mart where you can go grocery shopping and get basic items this bakala is more smaller when compared to the one at nrc1 but the prices of items are generally similar and more expensive when compared to buying stuff in city markets When you step outdoors, you find concrete seats provided at every corner of this camp. But unfortunately, not a lot of consideration was taken to provide shades along every walkway. Unlike NRC1 where you find car parks along every route you take, the car park in this camp is situated in just one location of the camp, almost behind all the buildings. The clinic they have here is way bigger and more sophisticated compared to the one at NRC1, where I did not feel comfortable recording inside the clinic. After moving around for a while, I was only able to find one swimming pool and after speaking to some of the residents here, they confirmed that the pool is used only by some specific people and not open to all residents. Surprisingly, I found only one mosque at the center of this camp compared to over four at NRC1 with the Grand Mosque still under construction. The football field in this camp is way bigger with brighter looking grass than the one at NRC1 but it's worth noting that there is a much bigger field under construction at NRC1 which I will share with you once completed. Unlike NRC1 which is surrounded by the desert and the Red Sea on different sides, this camp is completely surrounded by mountains and the desert which makes it relatively hotter due to humidity. It is also worth noting that this camp will be cooler during winter due to these mountains. 
I was shocked to find that the gym at this camp only offers a space for working out but does not include a recreation center unlike NRC1 where you can play indoor games like 8-ball, table tennis and other board games. For the most part, the equipment in this gym are quite similar to the ones at NRC1. My final stop at this camp was the dining hall and I must say this cafeteria is significantly superior in terms of the structure and the quality of the food when compared to the ones we have at NRC1. <laughs> Visiting new places for me is not just about getting to see different kinds of architecture or trying out new cuisines. It's more about connecting with people who share similar passions as you and are committed to creating something meaningful for the world to see. Do you think the minor upgrade to the facilities in this camp is worth moving from NRC1? Please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Peace.